moving on to the Hawks, who obviously the departure of Luke Hodge is the big out for them. They got MP in, which depth player. Yeah. Obviously, Gibson retired a massive out in Tyrone Vickery. But last season, they were the talking point of the league at one and five. And nobody could quite believe them at Sydney. Nobody could understand what was going yeah. on. It was, this is this is ridiculous. But, I mean, Clarkson spun the magnets. And, I mean, the guy's a genius. He's incredible what he was able to do. Uh, they won nine and drew one of their last 16 games. They beat the Swans and Adelaide in the process of that run home. And suddenly, for a team that was looking like it was going to bottom out, I mean, I still don't <coughs> think they're they're not going to jump straight back into premiership contention. But this team is they can not bottoming out. Like day, yeah. he managed to nearly rebuild them within a season, yeah. which for some teams to take four to even six or seven years is a bit yeah. unfair. <laughs> that and the in, in that same year, they weren't easy beats. Yeah. And I mean, it's the thing that he just noticed. Um, the injury list was massive. Birchall played just five games. Frawley and Stratton just eight. Gibson managed just 12. Rioli had the season-ending knee injury in round eight. O'Meara missed lots of games with injury, which we know has been an issue. But it meant guys like Ryan Burton, Tim O'Brien, Daniel Howe, Blake Hardwick, Caden Brand, Tia Miles. Like, they got a taste of AFL footy. And some led by Tom Mitchell, who was superb. Yes, yes. I don't care what anybody says about it. He doesn't impact the game. He clearly <laughs> impacts the game. I mean, he was superb all throughout that season. They turn it around, and the future doesn't look anywhere near as bleak as it was. Yep. But I... <laughs> right? Go. I was going to say, it's it's a little startling, though. Their, um, some of their better players are still above 30. If you look at Burgoyne, he's yeah. 35, Mr. and he's still Silk, probably their top <laughs> in their top three best players. I think a lot of people are getting ahead of themselves because they won a lot of those games in junk, ch- junk time last yeah. year. Yeah. Still got the oldest list in the AFL. Yeah. This season was gone halfway through the year. No yeah. one, even though they could make finals, they weren't making finals. Yeah. Alistair Clarkson even said that they were building for the future. Yeah. I think they won a lot of those games when it didn't really matter. Nothing. I don't lose. think they're going to make finals this year. I don't think it's going to be this revival like people, some people believe. I've just got massive questions and about their forward line. Now everyone knows the, the, the moves that... Clarkson did Gunston going back yeah. into defence. But that's defense. the thing. Will, the thing. will they do those? Will he reverse that with Stratton and those guys, Virgil, mm-hmm. coming back? I, with their forward line for me, I think a lot of people are just thinking, oh, you know, last year was a down year, they'll get back. But are we just thinking that because of what they've done in past Septembers? Because, I mean, if you look at their guys individually, Rioli obviously was injured. But, I mean, his 15-16 form was 42 and 47 goals. Can he get back to that? Probably yes. That's probably a tick out of the one players. I mean, Bruce only managed 33 goals last season, which was the lowest since his rookie season in 2011. Then you go to rough head kick 38, which was the lowest since his injury interrupted 2011 season. Gunson kicked just 19. He had over 50 in his three seasons prior to that. Now, a lot of people say, well, he moved to defense, but he was struggling before he moved to defense. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily that he was on fire. I think he only, didn't he only go into defense in round 15 or yeah. something like that? It was, it was, it was pretty late several, in the season. Several goalless games. Yeah. Yeah. Even He's, Isaac Smith, 14 yeah. goals. Puopolo just 19, which was the lowest since his 2013 season. Puopolo's done. Yeah, I He's, just think a lot of these guys, are done. a lot of these guys, Smith, people are just Smith's assuming, yeah, assuming that they're going to bounce back, and I don't see it. I just don't see how that forward line can carry them. Ben McAvoy back was to the thinking finals. about retiring at yeah. the end of last season. He's yeah. only 28. Yeah. We might be saying halfway through the year, Ben McAvoy and also even Sean Burgoyne, and maybe they went one season too long. Who knows? In saying that, though, McAvoy was really good last year. He was really so good, was but he was still thinking about retiring, Yeah, which um, means he doesn't have faith in his body. Yeah, I just think there's so many questions. For Sam, I said, they did turn it around. Their clearance work and their contested possessions, when you look at split it up round 1 to 13 and then 14 to the end of the season, their clearance differential, their contested possessions numbers were appalling the first round 1 to 13. 
after that, when Clarkson started to make the tweaks, they improved dramatically. They looked like a top eight side. Yeah, and it ignited their outside game, which is what they're so good at. I mean, from round 14 onwards, they were number one in disposals, disposal efficiency, kicking efficiency, uncontested mark, uncontested possessions, which is what Hawthorne does. They strangle possession of the ball, they monopolize it, and they don't let you get a shot at it. So their inside game wasn't fueling their outside game. Thanks largely due to Tom Mitchell, who ranked third in the league in contested possessions, they were able to to bring that round and switch it. But as I said, I, that forward line for me has massive question marks written all over it. I just yep. I don't trust it. And uh, Omir is an interesting one as well. I mean, six games last season. In his last game against the Bulldogs in round twenty three, he had twenty five possessions, five clearances, eleven tackles, and you go, this guy could be so good. But it's the last but game then of the season. Six. Yeah, but like six uh, games for the game entire the season. season. Like, oh no, it was the last yeah. game. Sorry, <laughs> but it's it's like you just can't junk get time. out there. Yeah, but on top, it still was a very good performance, uh, regardless of junk it, time. When he junk time. when he is healthy, he can be an elite yeah. midfielder in the league. Do we know he if can... he's ever going to be healthy? Well, again. that's the question, which we don't know. And I like personally, I just really hope he does get back that. Because yeah, yeah, even in his rookie it. season, he showed so much promise. He could be all Australian easily oh, if yeah. he can stay healthy yeah. and deliver deliver on all his potential. I've still got them outside my eight. For me, they're in that ninth to eleventh bracket because I'm just I just don't trust that forward line. Yeah, they don't have that star quality anymore for those other players yeah. to shine through. And also, they the teams they play twice in 2018. Are the Saints, the Lions, Essendon, the Cats, and the Swans, which the Lions are the only easy beats there. I think they'll be outside the top eight, nine to thirteen range. Yeah, nine to thirteen. But do they have their their picks this year? Or are they still giving away for the Yago Mira deal? It's a good question. Yeah, I'm not, not, quite, sure. not quite sure what the because if they got picks, they might as well finish as low as possible because they need to rebuild. Clarkson's not going to yeah. tank. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Well, not tank, but still, just try and. Finish as low as possible. That's, that's tanking. tanking. That's, that's what they couldn't afford to do last year. Didn't yeah, that is, is the yeah, definition. Well, they couldn't do it last year. They didn't have the picks, yeah. but yeah. if they got the picks, do it. Um, I, I've got a, a little bit of hope for Hawthorne. I think 7 to 10 for me. I think oh, they're going to so sneak in. It'll be a very... Yeah. Yeah, they're one of those ones who are on the edge. Do yeah. they just tip they're, in or they're just in that, out? They're in that really competitive yeah. um, range. It's probably, I think it's probably 6 to 12 Yeah, 6 to 12 in the league. Where really any they're team, out of the any, elite, yeah, but it's probably it's probably only going to be one or two games between those positions on the ladder coming yeah. into the, the season. Yeah, 